What's up, man? 25 gamers. Today we're going to be breaking down a gameplay uh, for no reason, really. Just want to get a gameplay up. Thinking about starting out a little bit more gameplay on the channel. And uh, we're using the Kansas City Chiefs today. Uh, just random. Been looking at them. I don't know. I mean, just mainly because they're 9 0. I mean, really, no other reason I'm using them. But wanted to give you guys a little look at what I've been running lately uh, for money games and stuff like that. Um, and. Been running New York Giants playbook offensively. I've been running the 4-3 defense, uh, defensive playbook, running the 4-4 mainly. Uh, you'll see the 4-4 D today. Um, and I just wanted to see what you guys thought about my gameplay and I uh, wanted to see if you guys want to see more of these videos. Uh, I do a lot of tips, but I do have a little bit of time uh, that I may be able to start getting a little bit more gameplay up on a YouTube channel for you guys. So uh, if you guys want me to do that, then make sure that you let me know in the comment section. If you don't like this kind of stuff and you want to keep it just tips, uh, mainly tips based with a couple of gameplays a week, um, then let me know and I will uh, continue to do that. But anyway, starting out, we just like to establish that little run there out of the single back ace. Um, one of the things that that run is is it's mainly just a chess match uh, type of a, a type of a play. Um, and typically, you guys will see me come out in the same, uh, it's almost like a same one, two, three cycle every time. That's how I kind of run this offense now. Uh, I've been worked a, lot, worked a lot with this playbook. I haven't really, you know, and I run it without audibles, mainly because of Virgin Gaming's uh, tournament restrictions. Uh, and if you want to play on Virgin Gaming for cash, you're not allowed to use um, any audibles. So I've been running this offense with no audibles for probably about three months now. And it's it's getting there, you know. I mean, I still feel like I have room to improve. I haven't quite mastered my reads. And, and obviously, you know, sometimes you have to take time off from running your actual offense and defense uh, to focus on some other stuff. There, I don't know what happened on that one. Uh, the defensive end kind of just, he kind of just clicked around and happened to be on the guy that was right next to me. Which, I, uh, you know, that's fine. That's just part of the deal that you run into sometimes when you're playing these guys. But um, that's the deal. So I definitely, definitely like the offense so far. I mean, normally I don't get stopped, uh, at least to the second half, which, I mean, normally I could stop you by the second half. So so that's kind of what we do here. And, and you see I cycle through the same kind of stuff every time. The offense never really changes much. Uh, it's kind of the same thing over and 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 over again. The reason I like it like that is because it provides me a system when I always know. And then what happens is, like, we'll come out in basic, 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 basic. And then we'll immediately, then we'll come out one time at, at some point throughout the game and change it up. And it will completely fool the uh, opponent because he will have been seeing what we've been doing over and over and over again. And then all of a sudden we do something different. And um, that's where... You know, the scheming aspect of this game comes in. You know, I don't believe that scheming in this game is, is you know, I don't feel like a lot of people have to scheme to be good at this game. But when you want, when you want to play the best of the best, you have to have some type of chess match going on, even if it is Madden 25. Uh, unfortunately, Madden 25 in this year's game, oh, I almost got free there. Unfortunately, Madden 25 in this year's game is not, um, it's not as schematic uh, as I would like it to be, you know, because of the new Audible system, you can really access all your plays, so basically you could just come out and run whatever you want, which, in my opinion, almost limits you, because you're not running, you're not really basing what you're running off anything, so, I don't know, yeah, I don't know quite how I feel about the new game, I like it, because it does give you potentially more power, but at the same, uh, more power and versatility, but at the same time, um, you know, that provides you, you have to have more responsibility, you know, it's, it's a Spider-Man quote, uh, with more power become, becomes more responsibility. I uh, also wanted to show you this gameplay because I do want to show you how the goal line, the red zone goal line plays work um, in an online game and stuff like that. So I figured that this would be a good time to get a gameplay uh, for you guys up. I know I don't post many gameplays where I'm actually you know running whatever I want to run. So, But there you see, that's that big user catch I was telling you about. You don't really use it. It's not really a user catch. It's more of an auto catch. We just pass lead it up, but there you see the effectiveness. So I'm not a liar. But anyway, guys, I mean that's what we're doing today, and I've been running. I, I just want to get, get your thoughts on what you guys see today. I want you to give me some feedback on not just the commentary, but also want to. I want you to give, give me some feedback on the gameplay. Uh, 
You like me using teams like the Chiefs, or would you like me to use teams like the Browns and the Bengals, or not the Browns and Bengals, but the Browns and like the Chargers and all them? You know, who do you guys want to see? Uh, because I am going to try to get this uh, as a as an option on the regular. Oh, that's horrible adjustments, though. I didn't get anything set up. Uh, we are playing the Seahawks, and they're pretty good. Um, they have, In my opinion, they're the best team. Um, pound for pound, probably the best overall team in the game. The only thing I, they, they lack is versatility, which, in my opinion, is a big deal. And that's the main reason I don't run with them much. But here we're going to see a lot of read option, probably. So, I was hoping, I really want to just show you this pass defense stuff I've been working on. I feel like if you're going to come out and pass 30, 35 times a game, I can I feel like I can kind of slow you down with this defense here. All right, counter. And that's one thing I like about the Chiefs is it and this is why I didn't put the Chiefs in the, the Chiefs in my top 5 defense defenses in Man 25 when I did the video was mainly because they don't have a defensive line that's really spectacular. Um and I value that, and that's just my personality. I don't know if that's just me being an idiot or whatever, or me being naive to think that the Chiefs could be really any good. But with the roster updates, they actually have um, pretty serviceable defense alignment, especially for a defense like a 4-4, um, you know, similar to something that the Colts might have ran uh, back in the day. Or not the Colts, but the... Um, the 3-4 teams. The Cowboys might have ran back in the day when they were running 3-4. So, uh, definitely not a bad team here. They got some hidden gems on their team, too, that I really like. Um, so, that's why I'm running with them today. I've actually ran with them for a couple of games in a row uh, before the practicing and just kind of filling them out. Uh, I do like their secondary. That's one of the things I like about them the most. That's one reason why, and that may be another reason why I forgot, you know, I kind of left them out of my top five because they're not the best for 4-4, four -four, and 4-4 four -four is, is what I like to run, so... I guess, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I don't know. So, getting into this, um, you're seeing this basic pressure that I've been running. Uh, it sends four at the quarterback. Uh, so, it's like a basic rush, but um, you have potential to to get a guy free off the edge. So, that's why I've been running it. My pick that off. See, that's one thing, too. The Chiefs never grab the ball. There you see two drop picks in a row. When you're playing this game, guys, and this is one thing, I'm actually gonna do a video when I do through when I get through with the how to play defense in Man 25. One of the videos that will be on there is gonna be the uh, uh, one second. I got some adjustments. I gotta get there. We go. Um, but one of the things that's gonna be on there is the top um, what what to look for when picking a team defensively. So. Um, I think that's important. I don't know if we always know what to look for. Because there's a reason that, you know, there's a reason that the Bills actually are a pretty good defense. And there's a reason that the, you know, the Bears have a good defense. There's a reason that teams have good defenses but may not have a spectacular rating overall or whatever. Because you have to get into the ratings, you have to dig deep, and you have to figure out what's best for your scheme. Uh, when you find a team that fits your scheme, then you can win with any team in the game. And it hits... Yeah, case of point, Ryan Dykes uses the Cleveland Browns because they fit his scheme. They fit his offense, and they fit his defense. And personnel on their team matches up with what he wants to do. And Ryan Dykes wins a lot of games with them. Um, so, I like the Cowboys. Uh, I've liked the Cowboys a lot. Um, the only reason I'm not running with them uh, right now, uh, at this point in the season, is I don't, I don't know. I'm going back and forth because I feel like the Cowboys are really good, but with the, with the, um, Latest uh, offseason or the latest um, the latest roster change with with Ratliff going to the Bears now, they don't have that second guy that can really hang tight in the defensive front front line. Uh, they did get Marvin Austin, who has 91 acceleration and pretty decent strength and block shed, but he's not Dre Ratliff by any means. And I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm gonna run with them because and and another thing is like Terrence Williams is not. I mean, he's, he's good, but he's not great yet. He's kind of developing, so it, he's going to go up. He's going to be up and down all season. So I don't know if I can rely upon him. That was a bad call. Luckily, Alex Smith's more mobile than people give him credit for. So if you don't put a contain out there, we can... 
take off. Another team I've thought about using uh, in this game is the Denver Broncos. Really, I'm a big fan of them because they don't have really any weakness. The one problem with the Broncos, though, is that they they don't have really that good of um well, at least in my opinion, they don't have that great of a defense. Uh, they have a couple. They have some pieces, but in my opinion, I don't know. Just for me being a defensive-minded player, I like having good, you know, a good defense, and I also like having um, a really good. Um, a really mobile quarterback. I don't like having quarterbacks that aren't mobile. I mean, Tony Romo and Alex Smith are not the most mobile quarterbacks. But you see, like you saw earlier, you know, that we can get out of the pocket with them. Peyton Manning, you're really not going to get out of the pocket with him uh, unless, by some stretch of the imagination, they want you to. And that's a play. That guy's, uh, we broke that down in our, um, in one of our money plays of the week uh, segments where we talked about the uh, comeback Z post in the Giants book. Um, and that's that route that I really like against two man under. He was in two man under that time, and that route kills it over the top, which is really nice to have a sh um, a deep route that will kill uh, a defense that most people will just call uh, as a basic defense. So, and here we're going to try to show you that two point conversion play again. Hopefully, it doesn't stop us. I like to alternate. When I'm using the Giants, but I'll alternate between the slot trail uh, and the screen. And that's why I like the screen because it gives us those check downs. And when you look at those first, if we don't like those, then we'll throw the user catch up. And that's why I say, you know, don't have one read on a play. Always want to be, you know, always want to look for, always want to have at least two, three reads that you're looking to get. So, so that's what we're doing there. Uh, the kickoff I've been running so far at this point in the season is I uh, point it all the way to the left. I kick a full power for accuracy. I'll grab onto the kicker, and I'll take him over and just sit at the 40-yard line. If he gets past my guys, then I'll be squared up to make a tackle. So that's the idea behind that. Toss. I really don't. And that's one of the things. This base play that I've been running this late, and I haven't broken it down for the channel yet, guys, because I'm kind of saving it because I don't know if it, I don't know how good it is yet. It's kind of still in the works. But this base play that I've been running has been very effective at stopping the run for some reason. Because I'm not really sitting, I'm only blitzing, like I said, I'm only blitzing four guys, but for some reason it just stops the run. I don't know what it is. Dante, and I, uh, real quick, if you're using the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, I'd recommend starting Donata or Dunta Robinson uh, over, um, hold on one second, guys, I got a little, got to get a little adjusty here. There's that, and that's what I say about the Chiefs. Like, man, they get a, I get a lot of hit six fumbles with them, but man, your boy Poo, Poo, hurdling for days. Um, this is where you can really bury your opponent too. Uh, but I was saying about this um, base play I've been running. It for some reason it just stops running. I don't know why, uh, for sure, but it just does. I don't know. I don't know if it's anything I'm doing. Or I, well, I know it's not anything I'm doing. I'm not doing anything special to it, really. I mean, it's just a couple basic adjustments. But for some reason, it, I could hang with a majority of people's running attacks. And there was like six people on that stupid in route. Dang on it. Sometimes I get a little greedy with that. I know you guys probably do too when you see the effectiveness of it. So just make sure that, it, you know, if it's single or two guys. And they put three guys over there, it can get dicey. And when they put their whole team there, they may pick it off, as you saw a second ago. If they use it, you really don't want to throw it, I'll be honest. The only time you want to throw it is if you know you're going to get that super leapy animation. And if they're coming down on it, you're kind of screwed. Like, if they're coming down on it, you're good. But if they're coming, if they're underneath it, you're kind of screwed. You need to just go to something else. Okay. Back to the D. Alright, uh, that was the stretch. Should have blew that up the backfield. Sometimes I get a little greedy with the hit stick. Uh, I don't know, do you guys, what would you guys do? Would you guys go for hit sticks more? Or, and, and go for the, or, 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 excuse me. Would you guys go for hit sticks more or go for the sure tackle? What would you do? Uh, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. Uh, flowers. 
And for some reason, guys, I, I've been having a little trouble on the Xbox. I can't, for some reason, sometimes I feel like I'm moving a little slower on the controller than I would on the PS3. Um, sometimes I can't get those user picks that I would get on the PS3. Holy cow, T.Y. Hilton just dotted up Houston Texans punt return defense. Watching the game while I'm doing this. But, uh, anyway. There we go. Ah, uh, dang it. I probably should have ran the other play. Ah, uh, dang it. Got dotted there. Dag on it. Probably a, probably a bad play call there. I, I mean, third and seven. I mean, that's kind of a dicey situation to be in defensively in this game. Because, for me, it is anyway. Because sometimes I'll just get thrown over the top of. So that's why I like to have that three deep. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys, um, you know, earlier on in the season, I was all about stupid play action play. I hate that. Why do people, why do they do that? Why do they make it a different blocking? Look at Robinson killing people. He's got like 96 hit power. I hate that, the PA blocking thing, though. Because, like, I can, I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan of that. Because, why would they make a, why would they pick up pressure, why would they just change your blitz angles, you know? Like, it's not that they pick up pressure any different or they block better for you. It's that the defense's blitz angles gets all effed up and it messes everything up. I don't know why it does, but the, um, the really glitchy blitzes don't come in against that. And some of the basic blitzes don't come in against that, but if you're running the basic stuff that I teach from 4-4, you know, normally it will come in against play action. And if it doesn't come in against play action, you normally don't have that bad of coverage. Pl draw. Get out of here, man. Thank on it. Two minutes here. Uh, what would you guys... I like to gas him up. Something like this here. I hate. How did you even get the ball out of your hands? Dang it. Alright, we should be good now. Got two way heat. And that was dumb. Oh my gosh. Horrible, horrible defense on that one. That was so bad. Dang it. Oh, got a little bit too greedy there. At that point, you got you to gotta lock up. You can't just... Yeah, that was kind of stupid. I did hedge my back because I do have another opportunity to score here, but... Man, that was dumb. I had him right where I wanted him. I needed to get him back into the base D. Sometimes I blitz a little too much. Actually, I do blitz a little too much every day. And I... I I have a hard time not pulling the trigger on the pressure. Especially when I get greedy and I feel like I know what he's doing. Then I'll start really adjusting a lot, but I don't have enough information. Because it'll be like the second play of the game and I'll think I know where he's going. So, not always. I'm not always the smartest. Uh, I don't always follow my own tips. So, you guys probably are better than I am sometimes if you... At least listen to what I have to say. Hopefully you do. All right, coming back out here. One minute, eleven left. The idea here is basically you got to get down and get a, at least points. You know, you don't have to get seven because you just want to make it a three-score game. But you do have to get points. So this is just a basic drive for me. I've got three timeouts. I meant, this is an eternity in Madden, especially with the way the offense works this year. Uh, but I do want to kind of stay to the outsides. I do want to use out of bounds. The out of bounds lines. Man, luck has been sacked like seven times. All right, uh, here we got the screen. Love this play, and you guys have seen it like six times. Uh, usually, it's in, in the second half where we'll start throwing some other stuff out at Adam from the same look, but because you can, and that's why I say that's why I like the Giants playbook so much is, is because of the literally almost every. Every set is three wide receiver, one tight end. I mean, it's all, not all of them, but a lot of them are. And so if you have really good um, knowledge of your quicks, 
then you can really make a pretty decent um, pretty decent offense out of it. That was a delay read there. Uh, ended up, I wanted to hit McCluster early, but I wanted to at least play it safe. Know that I still have plenty of time to to do whatever I want. I don't need uh, to go for the big play just yet. Um, but here, this is kind of like, you ha it gives it to me twice in a row. I'll have to take that. Um, now we're approaching 35 seconds. I'm going to call four verticals with two out routes on the outside. Just to test him if he is you know, if he is trying to take away the deep ball or the out route. So here, and luckily he's pressuring me. So I can take an easy out route. Uh, make one quick uh, playmaker move or highlight move or whatever they call them. And uh, get in for six there. So that was a pretty good drive. And that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm, that's why I don't freak out about the, you know, the time clock and, and all that. Because it really, to be honest, I'm really just not worried about it because of the fact that you could score so freaking fast in this game. And look at Sherman getting in there, big boy, uh, for that two point conversion. That slip screen is money. I loved using that. Uh, somebody ran it on me. Uh, something, something like this. It wasn't exactly the setup I used, uh, but they did run that screen and they put the the backside guy on the end, and I really liked that concept. Man, I just kind of expanded on it. Uh, so I picked it up against the guy I was playing in a money game, and it was a good idea. So I applied it to the offense, added a new formation in, and uh, been running it ever since. Uh, it's not too complicated, guys. It's just a halfback slip screen. I put the uh, I motioned the left slot in, put him on a uh, uh, shoot. I put him on a flat route and then snap him while he's still moving and he'll be like man he'll sometimes be man he'll really kill zone so that's why I like it so much that should have been a pick that's what I don't get why do I drop so many interceptions with the Chiefs I've dropped like three or four Dag on it <sighs> look at that pressure boom that's what I'm saying guys that's a really good blitz I um, that's something that it, I, it's taken me a while working on, like I worked on it and then I figured, and then I thought, well, it probably doesn't work, so I'll stop working on it, and then I got the motiva motivation to work on it again, and, uh, didn't get discouraged this time, and now we have that pressure that I like, um, it doesn't always come in, but it's pretty good as a base rush, uh, gets upfield really well, I, I don't know why you guys just stand there and watch him throw the ball at your face, but, it's cool. And that's why I say, guys, if 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 you're trying to throw, um, if you're trying to throw, um, gotta recover, gotta recover, gotta recover. Come on, Robinson. Come on, Robinson. Robinson. Um, but if you're trying to throw on me like 30, 30 to forty times a game, you, you're gonna have a tough game because unless you have just a really good passing offense and can read coverages. But when you're running the ball, it does make it tough, especially if you have a good running offense, guys. In this year's game, running the ball is so effective that you can run the ball more than you can pass the ball and have a very successful offense through that. Uh -huh. Real quick, what I want you guys to do if you're in practice mode while watching this or, or if you're just kind of hanging out and you have your console uh, steady or handy, uh, go ahead and go into practice mode. And what I want you to do is I want you to uh, – one second while I set up this play – but I want you to go into practice mode, and I want you to put um, when you go in before you go in there. I want you to grab the Vince Lombardi playbook, and I want you to go in there. And it's I I think it's red right something or another. I can't remember the the, the exact play, but it's the one with the one of the running backs um, at like a tight end position, and the other running back is in the backfield, and he's like a it's like a split back. He would be where a split back set would be. Uh, if you guys could do that for me and check out that halfback Packer sweep or Packer sweep or whatever it's called, um, uh, a lot of guys like that play um, and ran it on me a lot this season and it's really pretty effective. But I don't know how many people know about it, so I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know uh, so that if you, you you know you may be able to add it to your playbook um, if that's the case. Um, so just check it out. Let me know what you guys think. This is really good defense right here. Did you see how fast I got that pressure set up? Really good. Please don't quit. I want to see this come in. This is um I'm sending like I'm sending six with a contain. 
and that's yeah, and that's what I really like about like, like about it for uh, short yardage defense because you get two quarterback spies which uh, occupy the linemen, and you're still going to get two two way pressure, and you also get the and then you can adjust your coverage. So I think I broke that down when I talked about the fake blitzing technique. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned if you haven't already seen that video. It's it's a pretty good it's a pretty good video to just kind of show you guys and you guys uh you know you hopefully you guys are grasping how I'm running this where I'm running that one run every single time on first down because it's a really good running play. I immediately go into the split giant, and like I said, we'll show you some stuff out of it that we do off of it when we go out of the uh, when we go out of the split. And here, and this is what I was thinking as I was practicing the split giant for a while, trying to figure out if I can make a really good scheme out of it. But really, this you know, it really is just that one play. So, but what I can do with it is I can audible out of it and. I have some pretty decent quick audibles where I basically, when I come out in that split giant, I'm either going to go from the split giant to the trips tight end and run that PA slot corner, or I'm going to go from the split giant into the empty giant and run some of the plays that I really like out of that formation. So it's it's a really a pretty good little mini scheme. It's, I call it my second down mini scheme because the idea is I run that one run, and then I give my running back a little break after it, and then I run the other stuff. And there you see the the uh, deep in route again showing up for me uh, in a crucial moment uh, where I needed to get that two point conversion so that I can uh, keep keep momentum in my in my way. So, but let me know what you guys think about this gameplay. I I really enjoy uh, playing. You know, I I don't I just don't have a lot of time to just play games on, and I really apologize to you guys for that. It's it's just part of the situation right now don't have a ton of time but when I you know uh, because I have to do all the other tip videos and stuff like that so that uh, I can keep that as my main goal on the channel because my main goal is to get you guys better uh, at the game so sometimes I don't always have time for gameplays that's one thing I did it was I was hoping nobody's ran a screen on me and like um, in like three practice games no one's ran a wide receiver screen on me I wanted to see all right guys sorry if I uh, accidentally took a break on the commentary. I really apologize about that. Uh, I think I accidentally bumped my uh, computer. Might have, it might have pulled me out of the commentary. I really do apologize if that is the case. Um, but hopefully that's no big deal. And uh, I didn't miss it but like two seconds maybe. Oh no, I got burned. I got burned. I got burned. Oh, thank God he didn't see that. Oh, but... Uh, Dang. Okay. Come on. Come on. I think he's talking through the console. <sighs> Screen, I should have that stopped. Gosh, and of course I barely stinking uh this game is really tough guys because you try to stop stuff, and you're there, but you're not there. <laughs> Even when you call the right play. That's unfortunate. Jayden. I'm going to send two-way heat here. Play really aggressive. And that's what I was trying to force. I was trying to force underneath. That's a... <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. These Chiefs, I don't know why they... I don't know why they cost so many fumbles, but they do. I'll take a look at their hit power, but, but that's a that's the nail on the coffin. That'll be the game. I don't know if he'll quit or not, but this is what I like to do um, when I have established that run over and over and over again. I've also established that motion. Is I'll put I'll come out in this PA stretch play. I'll put my cluster on a streak, and I'll do this either the first play of the second half uh, or when I get a big turnover or something. Motion him across, snap the ball fake the play action to him, and then just bomb over the top, hope McCluster's speed can outrun the corner on him. Uh, sometimes that can happen, other times it's an automatic touchdown. It just kind of depends on how well they overplay it. Um, there I thought I, I thought I had enough separation, and part of it has to do with the fact that Alex Smith is my quarterback. Um, a quarterback with really good throw power like Jay Cutler will be able to make that throw, but that's kind of the idea behind that little um, little mini scheme from the, shot, uh, the single back. Um, ace there. Gotta watch out for option here. Play action. Ah, the zones just don't cover anything, do they? Gosh dang it. 
you have to run man sometimes in this game, guys. I've tried. I've tried so hard to run zone all the time, but you just can't. Sometimes you're just going to have to call a two-man under. And, um, you know, that's not a bad thing either. All right, we should be pretty good shape here, except for that happening. Didn't expect draw. Uh, right there, I just set up a man coverage blitz. All right, third and long. Or second and long. Dad on it. Here's a screen. And see, it's not too bad against the screen. That's what I was trying to figure out. Cause and that's just a base play, guys. That's not the whole scheme um, that you're seeing today. So it's not too bad, I guess. All right. Oh, we got Burn again over the top. Gosh dang it. Luckily, he was out of bounds. <laughs> got pass interference, though, too. Uh, I'll go ahead and decline that because that wasn't his fault, but luckily he was out of bounds. I should have been Burn over the top for a touchdown there. Sometimes I get a little greedy on those underneath routes. Should get two-way pressure here. And we got the LB, LB button there to swat that away. It's a pretty good defensive stand uh, after that bad turnover. But that's why I like this single back ace play uh, just because the zone weak is so effective in this game uh, it's really one of the most effective runs in a game uh, it just gets great blocking and when you run it properly um, and you mix in that play action once every five or six times you run it and you don't want to run it a lot because you don't want to fumble but you definitely do want to run it some Andre Johnson just dropped the ball wow Andre Johnson, is he on this downfall? I don't know. You guys let me know. He had a really good game so far against the Houston, or against the, the Indianapolis Colts, but also I feel like he's he is on the decline. And unfortunately there, the screen pass didn't work as good as I wanted it to, but we still got the first down. Um, and like I said, you know, guys, this little screen play is just something that really annoys the crap out of your opponent as my opponent's going to end up quitting here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know uh, about some feedback from what I've asked you in the video. Be sure to come back for another gameplay. And also, if you guys like more of the tips portion of this game, be sure to check out the tips portion. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this commentary, please like the video and please retweet it on Twitter for me. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later on in this week.